So Paul, you promised a bit of fun today. So what have we got here? Well, we've got a lot of fun today. We've got two V-twins. Uh, both went out of production in the 1950s, believe it or not. Right. And both came back fairly recently in the 2010s, around about that. Reproduced icons. They certainly are. They say they don't make them like they used to, but with what we're going to be driving today, for sure they do. This is the Morgan three-wheeler. Probably needs no introduction. Sadly, no longer the JAP engine that when it ran out of production in the 50s. So what's this engine made by? This is by SNS. Right. Uh, like a bit of an old rework of a Harley Davidson engine. And SNS started making Harley Davidson engines. I don't think sadly, because this has got a lot of character to it. It's a two litre, two cylinder engine, and you'll hear it as well, which sounds very good. I drove it over and I had a permanent smile on my face, Tiff. Other than when a so, lorry went past, it was a bit <laughs> like that. If you drove this over, that sort of makes me think you've got me on the bike. Of course we have. Look at it, it's a beautiful V-twin as well. An Indian motorcycle, absolutely stunning. But I haven't driven a bike for years. You told me you had a bike license. Well, Tell me you're not lying. <laughs> well, look at that. And you I know mean, what they say about stunning. riding a bike? Riding a bike is like riding a bike, <laughs> apparently. This is their 111 cubic inch V-twin, which is actually 1.8 litres, but it's got 90 horsepower, whereas you've got... 68 in this, yeah. but the American version has about the same horsepower as you. But look at this, look at this, look. Indian motorcycle, 1901. Where did Morgan begin? 1909 for Morgan. Very, very similar, it's incredible, especially considering they're across the pond from each other. That's brilliant, brilliant, but you didn't tell me about the bike. I've got no kit. Tiff, do you think I'm gonna bring you here and not look after you? If you just walk that way, I'll wait here, Let's just go get, we think about everything. Over there, come, get over there. Oh. Just go, Tiff. No, 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 come back now. Tiff, come back, come back. There we go. <laughs> I told you, simple as that, you look the business. Oh, Tiff, you look amazing. Shall we go for a cruise, <laughs> boy? Look at that. Let's go. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> driving a car that's quite literally older than Tiff Nadell. When you consider that Morgan was founded in 1909 and their first car was actually a three-wheeler, it didn't really resemble what I'm driving today, but it gives you a bit of a flavor as to how long this car's been around and the concept of having three wheels, which is quite unique even to this day. I haven't been on a bike literally for about three years, but as soon as you're back on a bike, Oh, it's just a wonderful feeling, puts a smile on your face. And I tell you what, you also very quickly realise that you're watching for a mouse to come across the road, let alone some idiot in a Morgan three-wheeler right ahead of you. But it's amazing that bringing back this famous brand of India brings back a bike that's probably some magic facts that makes them the Isle of Man TT back in 1911 and came first second and third. The bikes that had three and a quarter horsepower. Look at here it comes. Where's this silver man? There he goes. There's something about this open top, driving, wind in your hair. Sadly, the sun's not out. And I've actually got my heated seats on. Yes, heated seats in the Morgan. I never thought I'd say that. The steering wheel is so high up, it's actually quite regal-like when you're steering, but the steering's good. I heard from a few people that the steering wasn't very precise, but I, I think they're wrong. The steering's actually quite precise and you have to compromise for the fact that you only have one wheel at the back and these very skinny tires at the front. But there's nothing wrong with this steering. In fact, the whole ride is very good. It rides the bumps very well. And regarding the weather, I wonder how Tiff's getting on on that bike. <laughs> Sitting there in his little car. 
several hours in the rain, get earache, backache, cramp in your feet, and get out and still have a big smile on your face. And this car does it all. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'll tell you what, for a pair of cruisers, it'll be hard to have all fun. in traffic. Oh dear, you're caught in traffic. What a shame, he's caught in traffic. I enjoy this cruise. I fancy an ice cream or something. Let's head to the beach. See the beach. I got just the place. Oh, you. cruising. What an amazing day, a really amazing day with these V-Twins, both of which provide something just so truly unique. And despite their design stemming from almost a century ago, they still pull in a crowd and passers-by were quick to pull out their phones and pose for photos and selfies. In an automotive world absolutely obsessed with 0 to 60 times and power outputs, it was so refreshing to see these two vehicles that couldn't care less about proving themselves with performance figure bragging rights. Instead, it was all about the experience they provide that completely sets them apart from pretty much anything on the road today. And a day that, quite frankly, was one of the most fun days filming we've ever, ever had. Before we continue, wearing sunglasses doesn't look very normal. Doesn't look 50s. 
I've got something much better for you to wear. Where's Tip anyway? I haven't seen him for absolutely ages. So who's coming for me? I'm in trouble. 